Hi guys, I'm going to show you how to find approximate mean and standard deviation for continuous variable. So share screen. And this is uh, uh, 3.3, number one. Okay. And we can see stack crunch symbol there. So click. And open in stack crunch. I don't know what's going on with my laptop. So it's, it, you cannot see, huh? All right, then let me say, I, I'm, I'm gonna open this one. Stop share and then share screen. Uh, this one. Okay, so if we are using those open stack crunch, then this one come up like that. Okay, now there is, let me a little bit bigger. There is a stack and summary stacks and grouped in the data. Okay, now. The first one, the first one, which is number of under 32 and degree. Okay. And second one, number of years. And the midpoint, we're going to use the consecutive lower limit. Then, okay. So they ask us mu, so it's mean. Mean is the same formula, population mean and sample mean. This one, standard deviation, this one, it's about the sample standard deviation. So we want to know about the uh, population standard deviation. So mean is here, then I'm going to drag until on adjust standard deviation here. Can you see that? Okay. On adjust standard deviation is population standard deviation in the stack crunch. If they're using just a standard deviation, it's just a for a sample, okay? So compute, okay? So we are using mean in the homework and 3.3, .3, number one. Okay, we're not using this one. This is a for a sample. And we're going over here on adjust sample standard, I'm sorry, on adjust standard deviation, this number. Okay. So we're going to use a two mean here and on adjust standard deviation for population standard deviation for approximation mean and standard deviation. All right. So if you don't want, uh, understand, watch again. Thank you. Bye.